For centuries, the speed of light has been the ultimate barrier, the cosmic speed limit that separated us from the vast unknown reaches of the universe. But what if I told you that barrier has finally been broken? What if I told you that scientists have discovered a revolutionary new way to travel? 10 times faster than light. Join us as we delve into this groundbreaking discovery and explore the implications for the future of space exploration. Imagine zooming across the sky faster than the speed of light, breaking through the boundaries of space and time. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but it may soon become a reality. Scientists have been making breakthroughs in the pursuit of creating space vessels that can travel faster than the speed of light. NASA, the renowned space agency, has set its sights on the Moon and Mars. To reach these destinations, they are turning to nuclear power for everything from communication to interstellar exploration. But why is traveling faster than the speed of light so important? It taps into humanity's innate desire for technological advancements and the need to achieve more in a shorter amount of time. Think about how our technology has evolved over the years. Computers today are nothing compared to the ones we had just two decades ago. Cars are ten times faster, and planes can fly faster than any bird on the planet. We even have jets like the F-35 that can break the sound barrier. But all of these advancements pale in comparison to what we use in space exploration. Currently, our spacecraft can reach speeds of up to 18,000 damamer pH to escape the Earth's atmosphere and enter orbit. But to travel to distant planets like Mars, we need to achieve speeds of at least $25,000 pH. That's mind-blowing. Probes like the Juno probe, which orbited Jupiter, traveled through space at a staggering 74 km s. These speeds are achieved thanks to complex propulsion systems. Space agencies like NASA use a combination of liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen as fuel for rockets. This combination creates a lightweight and highly effective fuel. Additionally, to provide an extra boost for heavier spacecraft, a combination of aluminium and an explosive is tialized. Once launched, ion thrusters are used to propel the spacecraft further into deep space, taking advantage of the gravity of planets and moons to conserve fuel. Navigation in space is no easy feat. Small adjustments to flight paths are made using hydrogen thrusters to maneuver through space and make precise calculations. Currently, the fastest spacecraft we have is Voyager 1, traveling at an astonishing 17 km s. Yet, on the grand scale of the universe, this speed is insignificant compared to the speed of light. The dream of scientists and technologists is to build something that can achieve the speed of light. This would open up a whole new realm of possibilities for interstellar travel. Imagine exploring other star systems within our galaxy, or even traveling to other galaxies in the universe. However, we are still far from achieving this dream. Interstellar travel distances are measured in light years, with the distance between the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies being about 2.2 million light years. But here's the shocking part. There have been reports of aircraft on Earth that have allegedly exceeded the speed of light. Multiple instances have been recorded, defying the laws of physics as we know them. While these claims may seem unbelievable, they only fuel the desire to explore and push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Guess what? There have been sightings of UFOs that can move faster than the speed of light. Can you believe it? No man-made aircraft has ever gone that fast, but these UFOs or UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena, have been reported to do so, even with high wind resistance. It's mind-boggling. One reason why UFOs have always caused controversy is because of their strange features and abilities. They don't seem to have any visible propulsion systems, but they can move seamlessly and in multiple directions. And that's not all. They've also been reported to move at astonishing speeds, some of which are believed to be faster than light itself. Take the case of David Fravor, a retired Navy veteran who shared his UFO encounter at a U.S. Congress hearing. Back in 2004, Fravor was a Navy pilot when he was notified about an anomaly in the area. Multiple anomalous aerial vehicles were detected, 
and they were doing something practically impossible. These objects were accelerating vertically into space and descending back down in less than a second. You won't find any man-made aircraft performing such a feat. Fravor was asked to investigate the event, and he did so with his fighter jet. As he approached the location, he spotted a white tic-tac-shaped object in the distance. He and his colleagues observed it for about 20 minutes before deciding to get a closer look. But guess what happened? The object suddenly came alive and accelerated at such a mind-boggling speed that it disappeared out of sight. It had no wings, thrusters, or exhaust vents, yet it moved incredibly fast. Even now, Fravor can't explain how it was possible. Fravor's testimony matches the accounts of several others around the world who claim to have seen UFOs disappear and reappear in an instant. It's like traveling at light speed, which could be deadly because of the immense G-forces. Just imagine the tension and physical strain it would put on a pilot. That's why many scientists believe humans can't travel at such speeds. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Another witness, David Grouch, revealed that the U.S. government has been recovering non-human remains from UFO crash sites for decades. He's a retired U.S. Air Force intelligence officer who discovered shocking secrets during his service. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie. Grouch's testimony caused an uproar not just about the existence of extraterrestrials, but also about the government's involvement in reverse engineering alien technology. It seems they've been trying to harness alien technology to improve military aircraft capabilities. This revelation aligns with the story of Bob Lazar, an American who claimed to have worked on reverse engineering alien technology in the 1980s. Imagine a world where spacecraft can zip through the universe at speeds faster than the speed of light. It may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but scientists are actually working on making this a reality. This incredible concept is made possible through a device known as a warp drive, which can manipulate space-time and allow for faster-than-light travel. The idea of a warp drive was first introduced in a 1957 book called Islands of Space, but it gained popularity through the legendary sci-fi series Star Trek. In this series, humanity explores the cosmos, using warp drives to travel vast distances in moments. While traveling at the speed of light seems impossible due to the immense G-forces, warping the space of time around a vessel enables it to surpass these limitations. The concept of warping space of time is not just fanciful fiction. It is based on Einstein's theory of relativity, which states that objects with mass can warp the fabric of space-time. This warping effect is what we experience as gravity. By expanding space-time behind the spacecraft and contracting it in front, a vessel can create a bubble that allows it to travel faster than the speed of light. Inside this space bubble, there would be no noticeable effects of traveling at such high speeds. No excessive g-forces, no tearing apart of the vessel. It would be like normal travel, but the bubble itself would be hurtling through time and space at unimaginable speeds. Scientists believe that achieving faster-than-light travel is possible, and they are working diligently to make the warp drive a reality. By overcoming this hurdle, humanity would have the ability to explore faraway galaxies and unlock the mysteries of the cosmos. Just like the seemingly impossible feats of the past, such as the invention of the light bulb or wireless communication, achieving faster-than-light travel would be one more breakthrough in our quest for scientific advancement. Boggling Speeds Alouer has proposed a theory that suggests we can travel at speeds ten times faster than light, which is mind-blowing considering the physical limitations of light speed. This concept involves traveling within an enclosed ring of negative mass across the universe. However, this speed is not sufficient for interstellar travel, so we need to develop warp drives similar to those in Star Trek movies, allowing us to travel at an astounding 7,000 times the speed of sound. But there's a catch. The amount of energy required to power such a drive is currently unimaginable, estimated to be 100 times the energy of massive planets like Jupiter. Additionally, the negative energy needed for contracting and expanding spacetime remains elusive. Although scientists haven't found a solution yet, 
they are relentlessly working to overcome these challenges. Some conspiracy theorists speculate that secret government agencies might already possess alien technology for intergalactic travel, but there's no evidence to support this claim. Nonetheless, the possibility of a functional warp drive is no longer a question of how, but a matter of when. That is all for now. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel.